Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric Parker with One Number, and in this week's Tableau video, I wanna cover with you how do we automate Tableau prep flows uh, with Tableau Server or Tableau Cloud. Uh, so bear with me here as I give you a little bit of a backstory as to a situation where you might wanna do this. Um, so just to let you into the kind of inner nerdy world that I live in, one of the things I like is hockey. Uh, we recently got an NHL team here in Seattle, so I've been following our Seattle Kraken, and I play fantasy hockey with my friends. Uh, so to cut a long story short, in fantasy hockey, one of the biggest ways that you can score points quickly is by playing goalies that do well. But part of what's challenging about that is you get a lot of points when your goalie's team wins the game, and that may or may not be a direct reflection of how good of a goalie they are, right? Like if they are a decent goalie, but their team stinks on offense, then they're not going to win a lot of games, which is tough for you. Or they could be an okay goalie on a great team. And then you're like, I should play that guy more because his team's going to win. He's going to get a bunch of bonus points. Okay. So that said, uh, there are some kind of high level tools in ESPN Fantasy Hockey, which I play, which would allow you to evaluate players. You know, you can see how often do they play, how many points have they scored recently. So this is just like a, a little bit of the interface, um, but it's not, doesn't always have everything that you want, right? So something that I did uh, just today, put it together for this video, is I went to hockeyreference.com and I found um, some tables of data which show sort of the leaderboards for different conferences. Um, so this just kind of shows teams, how many games that they played, how many goals have they scored, etc. So I wanted to pull this data into, first of all, a Google Sheet, and then eventually a Tableau Prep Flow, then eventually Tableau Prep to be able to do some visualizations on it. So for example, to show you something I've been doing, I'm calling this thing the NHL, NHL Goalie Evaluator. You can see that you can pick a team from this list and see how does this team stack up against other teams? You know, how many goals do they score on average? How many goals do they allow? What's their differential? You know, how many wins do they have? Or what's their points percentage, right? So there's all kinds of different things that you can do here to try and better understand, is this a team that I would wanna start their goalie, okay? Um, so just to give you a little backdrop here, so I pulled this data into Google Sheets. I had to pull it in as two separate tabs just because of the way that it's formatted here on hockeyreference.com. Um, I pulled that into a Tableau prep flow. I've combined those two different sheets. I've done a little bit of cleanup. And currently I'm just creating a local hyper output, okay? So I published that to a folder and then, you know, this uh, worksheet the data up behind it updates based on that. So that's fine, but there is one problem, which is that anytime I want that data updated, I have to go manually run that Tableau prep flow, which I don't want to have to do that manually every time, right? And I'm guessing that's the situation that you are in. Um, you have some prep flow that you want to automate. That's cool. Let's talk about how to do that. Um, so I think first thing, to make the automation worth it, it's probably worth it to send your output somewhere other than your local desktop. Right? So if I go to my output step of my Tableau prep flow, you'll see right now it's selected as file. So if you choose something like database or CRM, CRM analytics, that's awesome. That could be a really good fit for you. It's not really what we're gonna cover here today. Today we're gonna talk about how could we set this up as a published data source on Tableau server or Tableau cloud. So I go to publish data source. I need to select a project. I'll just throw this under my default project. I need to give it a name. I'm just gonna leave the default name, NHL 2223 output, and everything's good there. So what the heck, I'll just run this flow. This is not exactly automating it yet, but it's more so just pointing this to Tableau online. In this case, that's where I'm signed into. Um, so then when I do this publish, now the output lives in the online world. Tableau Cloud, you know what I mean. Changing these names on us, come on guys. All right, all right. Cool, so now I've got my data up here. So that's not automated yet, but at least the output is going to somewhere online versus my local PC. So one thing that I would wanna to do to automate this is I wanna publish this flow. So I would go to server, on the, the server drop down on my toolbar and say publish flow. And I think at this point, I teach a lot of Tableau prep classes. Um, at this point, this is I think where people start to get confused about, wait, didn't I just publish it online? What would publishing the flow do, okay? So let me show you a diagram which just briefly explains some of the different file types that you run into in Tableau Desktop and Tableau Prep. So in Tableau Prep, you create flows, right? You have steps, you do cleanup, you combine things. Um, so those 
are those flows, those steps that you've created are saved as a TFL, Tableau flow, or a TFLX, a package flow, okay? However, the output of those flows, it could go to a database or it could be an Excel file, or a lot of times the default would be a Tableau extract hyper file. So what we just did, what I just published to Tableau online or Tableau cloud, that was actually the extract. That's the output of a flow, but I haven't actually published the flow or the steps there yet. And all this is different than the visuals and the Tableau workbook and the TWB versus TWBX. Um, but I just wanted to explain you know, what's going on there. Um, so first of all, is just so you're finding this helpful, if you check out this link up here in the upper corner, we have classes that we run all the time. We've actually got a Tableau prep class coming up pretty soon. So if you're seeing this and you're like, I could just kind of use the rundown on what is Tableau prep? What are these key tools for? Give me some practices, ask some questions. Please um, join us. We would love that. You can check that out up here. All right, so all of that said, we're gonna publish our flow, our TFL in this case. So I hit the server drop down, and I'm gonna go ahead and select publish flow. It does its thing, it thinks about it. Okay, so default project, cool, NHL Tableau prep flow, that's fine. I'm not gonna to bother to do descriptions or tags, connections, let me just make sure that the, uh, yeah, something that's always good to double check under connections is that basically the the uh, access or like the credentials, whether it's in this case, Google Sheets, whether it's SQL Server, just make sure the, the credentials are embedded. Otherwise, the automation is gonna fail. Like it's gonna try and do it and then it would need a password and it doesn't have it. So anyways, I go ahead and hit publish. It does this thing, it's gonna take a few seconds and it'll get there. So here is our NHL Tableau Prep Flow, okay? So one cool thing is that already I can just hit run and because the output is also pointing to Tableau Cloud, this is gonna update the output, right? So that's cool. Let me just go ahead and go to my different uh, files and show you this, right? So my most recent things, if I can find them, I might just have to search by NHL. There's the, there's the output. Let me just type in NHL, that'll make this easier. There's the output and there's the prep flow. Okay, so the output was updated. I don't even know when it was updated. I wish it would show us there. I can see it here. Mm -hmm give us somewhere it doesn't work here quickly I'm just gonna give up okay somewhere it would tell us when it was the last refresh but it's not right now but let me just show you that we could manually run the tableau prep flow right now if we wanted to so if I just hit the run button hey you sure you want to do this uh, whatever yeah that's fine run now so it does this thing it's thinking it's pending See the status right here pending. Within a few seconds, it should say it's run. So this is still not automated, but at least it's all online now. So I don't have to like open up Tableau Prep in my desktop. Like I'm on the road, I could just you know, pull this up, hit run. Okay. Um, now to schedule this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to scheduled tasks and I'm gonna ask for a new task, okay? So if I hit this drop down, um, I, I could either do it here. I think also you can schedule it maybe from up here as well. So like this little breakout here, schedule flow. Either way, same thing. So right now, I don't know if it really matters. Um, it's a little bit new to me, to be honest. Some of this is just very recently updated, so I'm checking it out. Maybe for the first time at the same time you are. So let's say I want this thing to run every day, right? Because like, oh, I want to be on top of it. I want to crush my competitors in fantasy hockey. Take that, Tyler. Um, so, okay, I want to do a daily schedule at, let's say, 6 a.m. Definitely yesterday's game should be done by then. And I want to do a full refresh. So automatically include all the output steps. Yep, yep, yep. That all looks good. I don't think I need to customize anything here. And let's create the task, okay? So... That was it, you know, it's uh, it's saying that it's next gonna run February 21st, tomorrow at 5 a.m. I thought I picked 6 a.m., but whatever. Um, so cool, so now we're off to the races, right? And this should run daily unless there's an issue like access, my file gets deleted, whatever. This should run daily now. Uh, now, quick side note, if you're not seeing the ability to schedule a flow like that or set up a new task, it is possible that you don't have Tableau Prep Conductor enabled. Um, so I can't tell you all the things behind that, but basically, because I don't know your instance, your setup, but a lot of times if you're an administrator of Tableau Server or Tableau Cloud, you can automate. And then um, in some instances, depending on your licensing structure, that may be 
an add-on. There's something called the data management add-on, which includes Tableau Prep Conductor. So you may already have that and have the ability to do this, or you might get to this step and say, I don't know, like that option's not coming up for me. So if you have questions about that, let me know. Um, I'm happy to try and help you sort through that um, as much as I'm able to. Okay, so all that said, it's all updated. Now, last thing, my Tableau desktop workbook is still pointing to my local extract uh, not the Tableau server published extract, right? So if I want to be able to set this up and publish it and have it updating every day when the data updates, I need to do a new data source. It's going to be a Tableau server data source. It's going to be, I don't know what it's called, NHL something rather, let's search for it. NHL 22.3 output, I'm going to connect to that. Okay. So now you see I've got two different connections up here in the upper left corner. So the first one with the little background square with the crosses, that's a Tableau server published data source. That's the one we want. And you can see right now just the cylinder with the blue check next to it. That's the local hyper file that we're currently using. So now to get this all switched over, in this case, everything should be the same. So I should hopefully just be able to right click my old data source, say replace data source pick my new one, they have the same name, so that's a little confusing, but that's okay. I say okay, hopefully I should see the blue check. Yep, the blue check switched from the local output to the server output. I'm gonna delete the old local output. Unfortunately, a little bit of our formatting got wiped out. You can see like the colors here, so I just gotta re-choose these, thankfully. I think that's gonna be pretty easy. And I don't really care about the gray, it was more just a general color anyway, so I said, okay, 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 cool. So this should all be back and functional. And then finally, what I should be able to do now is now I want to publish my Tableau workbook. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And the NHL goalie evaluator, the permissions, okay, data sources, let's make sure nothing seems off. I think we're good. Um, so I'm gonna publish. It's taken a moment. Cool, looks like it's going. All right, so if all went to plan, I guess I'll know for sure tomorrow, um, then everything is all automated now, right? My Tableau prep flow, well, tech Google Sheets is pulling data from Hockey Reference. Tableau prep is pulling data from Google Sheets. Tableau prep flow is now published to Tableau server. The Tableau prep flow output, which is a hyper file, is publishing to server. My Tableau desktop workbook is connected to the Tableau server published workbook, and it is now also published to Tableau cloud server, whatever you want to call it, everything should run and I shouldn't have to touch this again. So one more time, I'm going to flash this image up there because I know there's kind of a lot of different file types and things to be keeping track of. Um, yeah. So I hope this helped you. I hope this helps clarify not only the steps, how to automate, but also what some of these different file types are. Um, I just want to thank you so much for coming here. Uh, we appreciate it. And we look forward to catching you on another video here soon because we drop these every week. All right. Talk to you then. Thanks.